everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today, some of my subscribers have asked um, to see my art studio. So I'm going to give you a little tour of my art studio. And um, also, Phil and I were on vacation last week. We were down in Tennessee visiting my oldest daughter and my son-in-law and my two grandkids. We had a, a wonderful time. It was a little chilly compared to here. But it felt really, really good. And um, we went to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. That's where both of my grandkids go. My grandson's a junior and my granddaughter is a freshman there. So we got to see them, which, oh my God, I was in seventh heaven. Got a lot of big hugs from my grandson and my granddaughter. And then we went back to my daughter's house and she lives up on Cagle Mountain, which is beautiful. It's like Wisconsin. It's full of rocks and waterfalls and it reminded me of back home. So, another thing I wanted to tell you is I'd love for all of you to comment in the comments to tell me where you're from. I'd love to know where you're all from. I'm from Illinois, but we live in Arizona now. So I'd, I'd love to hear where you're from. So with that said, Phil's gonna turn the camera over to me and I am going to show you my room. Okay. These are extra paints that I have. I have like um, probably three or four totes of paints. This is my drying table. I'm doing some of these skins uh, with uh, magnets, but they have to dry uh, first, so I'm doing that. These are my paintings that I just varnished actually yesterday because with us being gone, it gave them a lot of time to dry which is really good. And I have two tables downstairs that are also drying. When I get tired of painting, this is another hobby that I have. And these are my masked heads. They're on wood. I hand paint them. And every single one is different. I have a show coming up in Scottsdale in December with these. So I will be there with my ladies. This is my flow trawl. These are all of my, more of my extra paints and my painting medium, my golden paints, my Arteza. Over here is more paints, extra canvases. These I use for my heads and that is my roses. These are all my roses that I uh, put in my heads individually. Everything is glued individually in my heads. Here's more of my canvases. I have my easel. Bins of stuff. And this will bring you over to my table where I have all of my paints. These are already all mixed, ready to go. There's some of my flowers that I put in my heads. And here's a box. I actually call this Phil's box because these are all of his ideas They're in crazy. this box. He calls it the crazy box. He is the crazy man. So we have, you know, all of the stuff in here. We're gonna use this one next, which is an egg pressure rack. And here is my strainer that I strain my floor trough. You always have to strain the floor trough because it has like icks in it. There's my scale that I weigh everything. My stirs that I reuse all the time. My hair serum. My blowtorch. And all my handy little gadgets. Now, of course I need my hair band because pull my hair back. I don't want to get the color in it my gloves and this is a tray that you put underneath your washer i got this at um, home depot so with that said this is a tour of my art studio this is phil's table this is where he takes all of his notes last night he was taking notes, I don't know for how long, but when he got up today, he goes, Cap, Cap, look at all the notes I took. He had like seven pages of notes. So 
so it's like, okay then, that is fine. It was for the class so on. I'm doing the class um, at Michael's actually, uh, November, I believe it's November 9th, and um, it's going to be fun. So I can hardly wait for that. So Phil, you want to come back? You can um, take the camera now. Maybe turn it off. And then I will just turn around. Just turn it off. Oh, he wants me to turn it off. He doesn't want you to see him, I guess. So until the next time, bye.